Good title today, huh? Why you should set why you should watch Netflix documentaries to sell more online coaching. Hopefully I hooked you in. Hopefully it makes you want to stick around and learn the lesson from this story. So when I was a kid, I used to love Formula One cars like most kids. I used to love racing cars. But when it came to the Grand Prix and watching the cars drive around the track for 90 minutes, it was just the most boring thing I could I could ever do. Right? As a kid, you just don't want to sit and watch cars drive around. You'd rather play with cars, right? And I remember walking into my grand's bedroom and I was around 10 years old and I'd see her watching this, this, you know, the Grand Prix, fascinated with the sport. And it was 90 minutes of this cars driving around this track. Again, something that at the time at that age, it just didn't seem like fun. It didn't seem like something that I would want to do, right? As a kid, you want to play. And for years, I could never understand why people got so excited about the Grand Prix, like going and standing and watching the Grand Prix in the crowd when you stand there for a couple hours and you see a car drive past you at 200 miles an hour and then it's gone. And I could never really understand why people were so fascinated and enjoyed spectating this, this sport. And it wasn't until just last week that I discovered a new appreciation for Formula One. I was browsing through Netflix about three weeks ago now and I stumbled across the series Drive to Survive. I don't know if anybody's seen it or watched it. Um, it's about the Formula One race teams and their journey over the past three years. So from 2018, 19, 20. And it follows the teams, the drivers, kind of, you know, the whole story of what they do and where they came from and all that kind of stuff. And it was a couple of episodes. It took me like maybe one or two episodes and I was really hooked. I was really hooked on this show. And I was really fascinated to learn more about these drivers, these teams and the background and everything else that um, goes into a Formula One car and the sport itself. And bear in mind, I don't really watch sports. I'm not really a sport watching person. I watch like the boxing or something here and there, but I'm not like a really avid sports fan. And so I'm watching this TV show and I'm really getting drawn into the, the, the effort and the time that goes into creating these race cars, the effort and time that goes into building these machines that are the fastest thing in the planet and um, on, on, a fast thing on, on the road, not the planet. And um, just fascinated by it all. And in the series, you're taken behind the scenes. If you haven't seen it, you get taken behind the scenes of the race drivers, of, of the teams, of the principals um, who are supporting the teams. And you really get to see their lives, their families, like everything that goes into the sport. And you see all the politics behind the scenes, all the all the challenges that come into go into making the car, the um, the costs, the the traveling, you know, the intensity that they all have to go through to go and um, participate in a Grand Prix. And so by season three, I was like really drawn in to the sport, really understanding like what they have to do and really appreciating not just the drivers, but the whole team and the effort that goes into um, this sport that you know, is such a unique sport in that there's only a handful of racers that get to participate in this this um, this sport, which is seen by everybody all over the world. It's got millions of fans. Um, and it was funny because I was even to the point after watching the series, eagerly awaiting for last weekend's race. And again, something that I never would have thought so, thought I would be after being a 10-year-old kid, just bored out my brains watching um, these cars drive around the track. and. I was I was even to the point thinking like who's going to win this race? Is it going to be Lewis Hamilton or is he going to get challenged by Red Bull? I was really into it at this point, and it's funny because the the reason why I'm sharing this with you, the reason why I'm sharing why I am um, was watching the show and the the lesson is um, before I got to know the sport from the inside and what goes on and to create these cars and and these people, the effort that goes into these drivers from a kid, you know, young age up to being grown-ups, um, the money, the effort, everything else, the, um, you know, I didn't have an emotional interest in it before. I wasn't emotionally invested in the sport before 
And it wasn't until, again, I started watching this TV show, getting to know the drivers, the teams, and everything that goes on, did I get emotionally invested into it and felt like I um, was a part of it, felt like I was a part of this journey now. And through hearing the stories and getting behind the scenes and seeing what happens with the teams and the principals and everything else, you know, it's possibly made me think about sitting and watching a 90-minute race. Like, that's how much it's kind of um, persuaded me to, to be involved in this sport. And I'm going to get to why I'm sharing this with you in just a second. But it, if you just take for that for a moment, this whole concept of I've sat down, watched this TV show, this documentary, 10 episodes long for about 40 minutes over you know, three seasons, sharing and talking about these drivers, these teams, and eventually getting me so emotionally brought into this sport that I was excited to find out the results from last weekend. And so what happens is when you get emotionally brought into something, when you learn about something and discover more about something than what you see, right? The cars driving around the track, you start to get an invested interest in not just the sport, but everything that goes into it. So what does that have to do with getting more online coaching clients? You're probably wondering. So sharing stories of who you are, what you do and why you do what you do is how you're going to connect emotionally with your audiences, with your people, with your followers. And being a boring fitness person who just shows the highlight reel, just shows you working out, right? The car going around the track metaphor is not what's going to get you connected to make people more interested in working with you. It's going to be everything that happens behind the scenes, the story behind who you are, what you do, and why you do what you do. That's what gets people connected. And just like the Drive to Survive series on Netflix got me emotionally connected to the sport, the drivers, the teams. That's what you want to create with your followers, with your audience, with your tribe. You want to get them drawn in. And if you draw them in by sharing the story behind who you are, what you do, they're going to be more interested in working with you and hiring you as a coach because remember this one thing and write this down is people don't buy coaches they buy coach people don't buy coaching they buy coaches completely just screwed up my own quote there people don't buy coaching they buy coaches and so you going and sharing more stories about who you are what you do why you do what you do that's what's going to get people more connected and that's why i do these stories every day if you haven't already noticed i try to bring stories to help you guys not just connect to the story and the point I'm trying to make, but also connect to me on a level that maybe you will start to understand the way I see the world. And when people see eye to eye and when they align with your vision of how you see the world, then they're going to be more emotionally invested in your ideas, your concepts, and potentially be more open to working with you or joining your program or doing whatever you do. So don't just be a superficial person who just shows the limelight, shows what's going on in the, the front of the scene, right? The workouts and all that kind of stuff. Let people get behind the doors. Let them see who you are for real. And um, yeah, you're, you're going to connect to them on a deeper level. And that's going to be more emotionally compelling for them to be more interested in who you are and what you do. So that's all I got today. Quick story. And yeah, go and check out Drive to Survive. It's a pretty cool Netflix documentary. And any documentary for that matter, if you've ever watched a documentary before you watched it, I'm sure you might have had a preconception or an idea about that particular person or that show. And then you watched it and then you had this new appreciation for them, right? Like I watched the um, Last Chance You series, the basketball one, and I watched one of the, one of the American football ones. Right, I call it American football, not just the football. And I was really like amazed by these players, these these young guys who were like just going through their their um you know their studies and trying to make it in their sport. And I was very connected to them and their story just by watching this series. And it made me want to go and pick up a basketball and, and shoot some hoops. Like that's what 
these stories do it gets you connected to the people to the outcome and and makes you appreciate the ones who do make it in sport in 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 a high level in basketball or football maybe i'll share that story another time but that's why you should watch documentaries on netflix because it's not about the time you sit and watch netflix but it's about the story that you uncover and learn that you can then create and put into your life into your marketing into your social media and that's how you get people invested in you so i got hope you guys have a good day any questions drop it below mr james rich you know it man i know i see you shooting hoops as well over there on instagram story sell that's true facts tell and story sell that's why netflix is killing it with um documentaries and that's why we see more and more people creating documentaries there's a reason so where can you create your documentary how can you showcase your life where can you get people let people in behind the scenes to see who you really are because who you really are is what people want to see so take it use it share stories and um see you tomorrow same time 2:59 hopefully i'll be on time um for another day